Hey everybody, it's Lisa from Shabby Road Studio. How are you guys doing today? Um, today's video is a flip through of my latest journal that I just completed today. I have been wanting to try an altered book and this is what I ended up with. So um, I will say that this project was a lot harder than I had anticipated it would be. Everybody else makes it look so much easier and I really thought it was quite hard. <laughs> um, it took a lot longer than I anticipated as well. So um, yeah, I, I don't know. Will I try an altered book again? I don't know. Um, I might, but it'll be a while. So let's get into this one. Um, I did start out with uh, painting my book uh, f the cover first before I picked out what uh, digitals from Etsy that I wanted to purchase for this. Um, I started out just painting a black, basic black background, and then I started adding some colors in and ended up with this um, fun kind of artsy look. So I went with the, kind of those color ideas when I picked out the digitals inside. So on the spine, it says journal in these tile letters from um, Tim Holtz. And on the front is uh, one of the digitals that I ripped down to fit the cover. And then put a little Inspire with some uh, cheesecloth on the front. So, okay, let's get into it. Um, this digital is from Sunday Fable. Sunday Fables. I'm not sure if it's plural. Um... They are on Etsy, and they have some really cute stuff. So here's another uh, digital, but I'm, I can't think of the name of the um, shop just yet, but I will list those in the description um, when I'm done. So, um, yeah, it's kind of got like a France theme, uh, vintage, grungy all the way through. Um, some more Tim Holtz paper dolls. I like the, uh, using them when I can. Um, so here's our first little uh, top pocket, and it has a little bingo and then some uh, journaling space there with that. Okay, come on. It's always easier to get them out than it is back in. Um, and there's some hot air balloons in here. That's a, another um, Etsy shop that I will link below as well. Here's a little journal card with another Tim Holtz paper doll. And just some space on the back that you can either journal on or you can add something else if you'd like. And when you make these altered books, the uh, some of these pages are just quite like stiff because you have to use, you know, glue several together. So yeah, it was kind of weird. Um. I'm starting to, in my journals, add what I call the unicorn. Uh, just something that kind of doesn't belong, but it shows up anyway. And this guy um, running with a pig <laughs> is the unicorn for this journal. He had a blue hat, so that I just picked him out of my stuff because um, of his blue hat. And so he's on this kind of uh, book page uh, collaged pocket front here uh, carrying his pig. So... He's the oddball that doesn't quite belong with the rest. It is just for fun. And here in this pocket is a little ledger paper with notes and a little bike stamp. It's something fun over here. This is a collaged um, bookmark. Some lace and... here. Some more grunge. I just really like to grunge my books up. That's my style. Um, there's another tag. Be your beautiful self. Some more collaging on the back of that tag. It's a blue theme. Blue and neutral. So um, uh, Let's see. We got a journal card here with some more journaling space on the back 
Okay, get in there. Nice top corner pocket. Some more of the digi kit, the butterflies. And here is another pocket with some more Tim Holtz paper dolls. Together is the best place to be. Isn't that true? And they're kind of up on some cardboard, so it's really, it's a thick, thick tag, which helps make this book even thicker. Um, there's some more, just a fun card, and then an old bridge score paper. This is from uh, a child's, an uh, old child's book I found at the thrift store. Uh, and it was, it had the blues and tans in it, and I thought it was really pretty, and it would go with the theme. Um, so I added that in. More from the Sunday Fables. And then in this pocket, we have a tag, more journaling space on the back, a little flashcard. And some tickets on the bottom. Just a little pocket that says stuff on the front. And then another cool page. And it's matching. Coordinating page here with lots of grunge. That's cute. So in this side pocket, we have a big journaling card. It says joy and then it has a lot of space on the back for notes or journaling anything and all these side ones have these lace pull tabs here's some more hot air balloon just kind of neutral but there's some blue here too and then this was another one this is a neat tag it's a big one blank on the back some vintage stuff i really love vintage um so I think the, the theme of my journals will definitely be um, vintage, grunge, and yeah, that's what makes me happy. So there's some more journaling space, lots of it. Some birds, it's another pocket, and there is a big uh, oh, miniature, um, folder type cards. Lots of journaling space on the back. There's some fun stuff on the front. That goes in there. And over here is a card that's, or a tag that says adventure on it. This was a, from a big masterboard um, collage that I did and cut up into tags. And this is collaged on the back with some more of this and some book page. Just for fun. More hot air balloons, some more writing space. Here's a neat little lady. She's on a bookmark covered with lace. Be in love with your life. And I thought that lace went well with the pages she was on. I love these pages, guys. Isn't that beautiful? Whoever made this digital um, print, uh, I just love these speckled eggs, and it just goes so well with this other page here. So then in here, we have a journaling card with some space on the back, again. I love these ladies that I got from that um, vintage catalog, shopping catalog. I will use those ladies over and over again whenever I get a chance, because I love them so much. Here's another um, page from that child's music book. It was a blue background, so I stuck it in. Um, just a fun page. Here is a journaling card. It's not much room for journaling, but you could journal over it, I guess. But it's I ripped out this map piece because it said French Empire, and over here it talks about France and the geography of France. It says it's much smaller than the state of Texas. Just to go with the theme of this book. So that's kind of fun. Get this stuck over there in the lace. Okay. And this looks like an old wallpaper page, doesn't it? This is the page that I used on the front. You can see this is what it looked like before I tore it down. 
So back here, another page that matches the birdies, the flowers, and I grunged this up really a lot where it was a little wrinkly. It just took the grunge really well. And on the back page is none other than more Tim Holtz paper dolls. And yeah, just says explore. Talks about France there and some more stamps. And then the back cover with plenty of spot for notes, journaling, whatever. There's the back of the book. And yeah, that's it. Um, it's a it's a fatty. Not much you can do with. I mean, I don't know. Once you start at once you start gluing these pages together and then adding in tags and stuff, it just it just makes them fat. So um, oh, my ruler's inside. This is eight and a half by five and a half, and it has twenty one uh, pages in it but then front and back make 42 so there's 42 all together 21 singles so it is listed in my etsy shop now so if you're interested um other than that i will see you on the next video thanks for watching bye